got mail. All right, guys, this is the first segment of Mail Thing Thursday after Earth. Some of this stuff came before or while I was going to Earth, so I'm going to go ahead and open these up. This is uh, this is from Amazon, shipped to Country 3D, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these are from Mr. Roy Holly. Let me open these up. I got, I got my razor blade in here. Going to use it here in a minute. All right, so let's see. These almost came out the end. Their packing also leaves much to be desired, but at least they are in a in a container. And yes, there are four 12 millimeter rods in here. They, they didn't get here in time for the build, and that's what they were bought for, but they will be used in some other build, Mr. Holly. Um, I do appreciate them, and I'm sorry they didn't get here in time to make it into that build. So we're gonna set these right here, and we're gonna move on. What's next? But I do appreciate them. Don't don't think I don't for a second. Don't think I don't appreciate them. All right. So this one, this is Uke Cell. This is this is one I purchased, but it is also something necessary. Yes. Um, and the reason it's necessary is this one. This is an NPN probe it's a 12 millimeter same size but if you notice on the side there it has a has a adjustment so I can adjust the the sensing distance which is something I'm having a problem with on the current one um, I have some diodes in there that I'm going to change out as well that I got the other day I don't even know if I filmed those. I think I just opened them because I knew what they were and I was just opening them to get them open and getting them out of the way. Let me move the trash over here where it goes. All right, so that's mail thing number two. All right, so then mail thing number three. This also came while I was gone. This is from Ute Cell. I don't have any idea what this one is. Oh, wait. I have two different ones, so I got to make sure I got the right one because I ordered the wrong one. And this one, it does not say. Now I don't know which one's the NPN and which one's not. They are different numbers. That's 50 and 51. So I don't know. I will hopefully it will say on the on the um, probe itself here maybe. don't know boy that's gonna be fun because I'm pretty sure they look identical just one's NPN and one's PNP and it makes a difference because if you try one and you fry you'll fry what you're trying to connect to and this one looks exactly the same so I'm gonna have to go and see if I can figure out the order number so I know which one is which so here's my tracking number on this one I will be able to find out based on that tracking number cool so let's uh let's leave this here I don't know why they don't put um, that way I can see Thursday 21 June morning this is the PNP one. This one says, this is a UPS tracking number. It doesn't say when it's going to be, but I can look that up. I think this is the NPN. This is the last one I ordered. I just went ahead and reordered because I'll send that one back and get my money back. And this one, David Olson had told me at Earth that he was going to send me, which is awesome. Because uh, Joe Paddock said he could not get them. These are two. It's a set. Let me let me find the opening. There's not an opening, so I'm just gonna open it. Do 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 do. Uh. All right. So there's that. Now let me see if I. Can... All right. Yes, and it comes with nuts two brand new 350 millimeter rods 
And let me see what we have here. See if I have to change nuts. There's one, two, three, four start. So no, I do not have to change nuts. The nuts are four start, just like what I have on there. So those should work straight out of the box. Unscrew one, screw the other one down. And we should be good on length. That will help tremendously because right now I, I'm over the top of my rods. So that is cool. Let's put these back in here. I have to take these and drop these in here. And I'm going to say thank you to those people that send me the mail. I am so thankful for the Country Club. They are, they are fantastic folks. Um, but that's it for this segment. Uh, we'll see you in a minute think let me see if i can stop the recording all right see you in a minute good morning everybody it's uh right after morning coffee got off the discord it's uh 10 43 in the morning actually and uh got the mail in on it's a sunday so that's pretty cool so i'm gonna open up the mail for this segment and see what we got here first off i uh, got a got a package here wow somebody bought me off my wish list they bought me some socks for my for my uh, things there. Oh, wait, I got a gift receipt, so I get to know who it is. Hi, Walter. Enjoy your gift. Hope you still need these. If not, consider them future needs from Greg S., Minnesota Maker. Thank you, Minnesota Maker, and I absolutely do still need these. I've got one, two, three that need socks on them. So the three-pack will go directly onto those. Now, I've only got one E3D V6, but, you know, these will fit the knockoffs as well. So, we're going to put them on the knockoffs. All right, in the next box, I actually had to open the Amazon box part of it, but I did not open the other box. Um, there is a gift receipt in here, so, you know, I'm going to read the gift receipt. We're going to put the box up here because I haven't opened this. It said, Hi, Country 3D. No maker should be without at least one soldering iron. Enjoy. John aka trolling for dollars that's good because he never would tell me his name that, that it was john but now i know and now you do too <laughs> so let's see what we got in here he's uh i had one on my list but this is not the one i had on my list so let's see what we have here please read this it's got a break-in period so i got to read the directions on this thing wow this is nice it's got a Got a stand here. Um, I don't have. I'm assuming that this is a heater cartridge in case it goes out. That that's friggin' awesome. Unless you have to assemble it. No, nope, it comes with a tip in it, so looks like it's ready. There's a a stand of some sort. Let me let me get the rest of this out. Cause it looks like there's a oh oh oh. oh. This is like the one I was asking for. It's just not the name brand. This is an Xtronic, but check it out. Check it out. A nice stand. Check that out. You can't even see it. Let me uh let me get my camera over here and maybe we can do the overhead. Let's see. Is the overhead gonna come on? Turn on. There you go. It's not. It's not gonna turn on. For some reason, it didn't turn on. Let's just turn it on there. There we go. Yeah, check that out. That is nice. It's got a dial gauge here. It's not digital. On, off. Got your temperature set here. It has a has a little pointer here so you can tell where you're at. You leave it in the green, get it hot. And this, I would imagine, I'm just imagining here, it, it's got a couple screws in it. Got to see where this screws into because I don't see anywhere. Does that go there? It might. Don't even know what this is. Looks like some kind of spool holder that goes on the side that doesn't mount there. This might be mounted somewhere else. This may be just used somewhere else. I don't know. I'm kind of dumb at this stuff. You know, but check it out. That's what I'm talking about. Got a whole a whole kit going on here. Let me stick this back in here. This was down in there, and then we had this piece on top. It goes down over this like so. And the rest of this was in the top. So we're gonna stick the rest of this in here. 
soldering iron back in here. This little thing back over here where it was at. I can get it back in there, turn it the right way. There it goes. And then this was over in this little section here. Then the instructions, we're going to put them back too. That is friggin' awesome. Extronic USA. So it's got some flux, it's got some, it's got a, it's got a, it's got everything you need to solder in here, except for solder. But that's cool. Thank you, John. Oh, that's what I forgot. Let me put this back in the box. Come on. You'll be forgot something. I see, I see how this goes on, I believe. I believe I do anyway. But we'll put this back in the box here. This was inside of here, so I don't mess that heater cartridge up. And that's got to be what that is, is an extra, uh, extra heater cartridge. There we go. Stick that in there. Now let's put it back in the box. That is that is freaking awesome right there. Y'all guys continue to amaze me. Thank you again to both of you. To um, Trolling for Dollars, John, and to Greg, Minnesota Maker. Thank you. Thank you for the parts. Let me get this out of my face. Come on. I'm going to go keep working on the Hypercube and then get in here and start straightening this crap up back here. But thank you again, and uh, we'll see you in just a second. All right, guys, well, it's after morning coffee, and uh, this is the next segment of Mail Thing Thursday. Um, got this in the mail, and this is from Motorhead Mitch, um, who many of you know, from Cromwell, Indiana. So we're going to open this up. It feels like it has gotten moist at one time or another in its trip to here. Uh, hopefully not. Okay. Oh, you know what? This calls for, I have to get this over here. I have to get this box over here so that I can get this right. I got to do this right for for Mitchell. Y'all give me just a sec. Y'all know how this works. All right, so I get to do this. We get to do this right. All right, so I have the Ice Giant Odds R CD. Hit my head, Heavenly Father, shallow grave, heart and soul, start over, tell me why, waiting on a dream, who am I, and slow poison. Alright, so here we go. Hi Walter, just wanted to drop you a CD of the Uncle's Band. Feel free to enjoy and don't feel obligated to share. That and I wanted one of those stickers. I wish you much luck in all of your future ventures, Motorhead Mitch. Alright, so, this is my first ever, like, letter letter. I got a got a letter from from Zimmy one time, but it was was just some stickers, and he sent me a self addressed stamped envelope. So you sir get stickers. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and put them in the envelope right now. I suppose that's how this works, and you will definitely get these back directly. Um, so these will be put in the mail tomorrow because our mail's already run. And I will check this out. I will open it up. I will definitely put it in a CD player. I think we, we can put it in the Blu-ray player. I don't I don't even have a CD drive on the machine, on the computer down here. So, um, But yeah, we'll put this in. We'll check this out. And thank you, Mitch. I'm, I'm always open to music. You know I listen to everything. So that's fantastic. Thank you, sir. And uh, you'll get your sticker shortly. Well, that's another Mail Thing Thursday for today. And I'll have to be more prepared with the sticker things when I open mail because that's actually pretty cool. So we'll see y'all in just a minute. All right. So that's another Mail Thing Thursday episode. Um, short one this time. Not too bad. You know, you should be able to make it through to this message right here. And if you have, kudos. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. You know where the support links are. They're down below. Uh, buy a shirt. Check it out. I'll get it right in a minute. There it is. Check it out. It's a nice shirt. I mean, really. I didn't even turn the lights on overhead. Man, I'm lazy. Echo. Turn on the back bedroom. Ah, there, look at that. <laughs> Let there be light. Now, anyway, so that was Mail Thing Thursday. Thank y'all for watching. The Country Club continues to amaze me every day. If you're not a member of the Country Club, then just subscribe. That's how you become a member. There are different levels on my Patreon, but to become a member, just subscribe. Um... But once again, thank you, and we will see you in the morning for coffee.